Hello and welcome everybody. This is your commentator modes and you're building it yourself. You're actually doing a video, like an actual video with commentary. Like, yes, I am. I'm finally back doing a video. We're getting back into doing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do for Yu-Gi-Oh! And as you can see, the new ban list for November got released today. And yeah, um, I'm going to go over it because I actually peeked at it before I wanted to do this video. And you guys are going to be surprised at what's on it. Because I, I was actually going to do a deck profile. For you guys, but I decided to do this instead because I have to figure out, I have to change the deck a little bit, and yeah, because of this list, I wasn't playing anything too too meta, but still, I have to adjust my my, my deck a little bit. So let's get over it. Let, let's get over. Let's get to the list, and I'll, and I'll tell you my reactions. So the first thing that we see that's banned is is towers, is a, is is Quilfort towers, and that's like interesting because I guess they banned it because some decks can't get over it, but and also, the Towers Turbo is such was such a helmet deck, and I hated it. Oh my gosh! So I'm happy that Towers is gone, but now that now Cleveland players have to play Triple Sky Base, which is is not the best. But also, I don't think that Towers should should have been hit by 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 banning it completely. I think it should have gone to one. Oh, in all honesty, because of the new stuff coming out, that's gonna be like, oh, you can't play the game Yu-Gi-Oh. Like Magic Specters, uh, the Magician Form Pell Pendulum deck. Uh, what else? Gridles. Gridles are going to be really important, really, really frustrating to deal with. Um, and yeah, just yeah. So I didn't think Towers needed to be banned. Maybe at one, he'd be okay. But being banned, like really. So next, let's go down the list and see what we got here. Hold on. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, yes, Shuri Strategy to the Necroz is now banned. That, I guess that kind of kill. That doesn't necessarily kill the deck yet until we see the rest of the list. But Shuri getting hit, getting banned is is a big uh, thing because now they can't just use it to straight out summon out their Trish and then do their little Necros things. And yeah, and now the next card that got banned is El Shadow Construct. They followed the OCG ban list and just banned out Construct. Because if you didn't know, the on the OCG list, Construct is banned. So, yeah. And next card is Evil Swarm Exeter Knight. This was surprising when I saw it. Like, why would you ban Exeter Knight? But I guess I can see why they banned Exeter Knight. Because, um... With, with with the new pendulums and they want to make sure pendulum the, the new pendulums get to see some play. If if your opponent goes for their pendulum play, all you have to do is make excite on night and then if, and then in the in the in the perform pal magician deck, if they can't um top top deck the monkey while board, then they can't really make then you probably just win the game at that point after making excite excite night. So yeah. But yeah, not to figure out what what the what the, what the play in replace of Excite tonight though as a rank four, uh, I could I don't really know. But 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 we'll figure it out. Anyways, going down the list, you guys can see what else is is, is banned. Nothing. So that was it. Towers, Shuri, Construct, and and, and Excite tonight or Excite tonight was banned. Okay, now let's go down to what's limited. What's what's at one? Scout is now at one. Okay, they're 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 hitting Cleefords more and more. Okay, so just use Wavering Eyes and get Cleefords Scout turn one. Simple enough. So now, what would what would you replace the other? The, now what would you use instead of because you because because Cleefords had Scout at two and now it's at one. So what do you do instead of that? I now that it's at one, I actually have no idea. If you could tell me what you would what, what you would use to replace the other Cleefort Scouts, then let me know. Because I'm actually curious. But now we're moving down the list. And Graph, Malbrand to the Burning Abyss is at one. This is the card I actually wanted to see hit because Graph, for those of you who don't know, uh, Graph, I'll look him up right here for you. Graph, okay, so Graph, Graph. Malbron to the Burning Abyss, as we see here, Graph. Graph was interesting, because what Graph did was, 
he had the same effect where he could be special summoned to the field if we had no spells and traps on our field. Yeah. But his main effect was he can special summon one burning abyss monster from our deck when he's sent to the graveyard. Which is actually pretty interesting. And it was really strong for that deck. Because because Graf gets because Graf gets 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 detached off Dante, you get to summon an, a Skarm, and then you do your plays, and then you do your things and your stuff. And it was so annoying. So yeah, back to the list. Mathematician is at one. Rip Mathematician. This is this is one of the surprising things that they hit. Now now in my synchro based deck that I was gonna show you guys my that's why I said I have to rethink my 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 deck list because I was gonna show you a TG synchro deck for the for the for the upcoming list for the upcoming uh, months. And I was going to play three mathematician in that deck, but now now I can only play one. Not to figure out what I got to play. Like maybe I maybe I play foolish not maybe I have to play foolish burial now in my TG synchro deck, or something else that dumps from my deck to the graveyard. I don't really know, but we'll figure it out, and then I'll do that deck profile for you guys. But yeah, mathematician at one. Okay, okay, Brian Axe at one. Rip Necroz, Unicorn's at one. Once again, rip Necroz. So they're literally hitting all the meta decks so that all the other decks that are coming out, like I said, Magic Specters, Performer Power Magicians, Gridles, DDD, Monarchs, they're just going to have their time to shine. I mean, sure, some people will try to still play the old meta decks with the new list, but, you know, whoa, whoa, I think I skipped over this one when I briefly looked at the list, but Ritual Beast Conahawk, Ulti Conahawk, is that one. Well, I don't know how that goes, because I don't really, I haven't, I haven't really played Ritual Beast, I haven't really played against Ritual Beast, so I don't really know how much this hurts the deck. So let me know in the comments down below. Like, what does this do for the deck? And down, going down the list, El Shadal Fusion is that one. So again, going back to the OTG list, they have Construct Ban and, and, and El Shadal Fusion at one. So Konami just did the same thing here. And whoa! Reinforcement of the armies at one. I'm sad. Because Rhoda was... Well, Rhoda hurts mainly the Satellite deck. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so Teleronites weren't hit so far on the list, were they? No. And they, and usually Konami hits hits the deck that wins worlds. And they haven't hit any and as you've seen so far, they haven't hit any of the Satellar Knights. I mean Rona does kind of hurt that deck because you could you only get one search now. So but yeah, it also hurts other decks like Six Samurais. It also hurts Synchrons a little bit because you can't search your junk your junk Synchron or your Doppelwarrior as easily. Uh, so yeah, rest in peace, Rhoda. And that's all the cards I believe that were at one. Yep. And now cards that went to two. The only card that's at two is Seer. So more hits to the Burning Abyss. I guess they just want to get rid of Mara. So yeah. Wait, looking at this anti spell fragrance hasn't been changed, right? Because pendulums are because the new the new pendulums, right? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so cards that are no longer on the list. Chaos Sorcerer is now at three. Nice. Nice. So chaos so chaos decks can actually become a thing again. Or the, or get stronger because you are not gonna play three Chaos Sorcerer instead of just two. Okay? Legendary Six Samurai Sheehan's at two, uh, is at three. I mean, that deck, it will be happy to have three Sheehan, but having Rhoda at one is going to make them cry. So Spellbook of Fate. Wow, I, I, I did not see this one coming. Spellbook of Fate is now at three when it used to be at one. That card's going to give Spellbook some sort of more support, but not too much to make them too, too meta. And, ooh, look at the last card, guys. The last card that is no longer on the list is Gear Gear Gear. Yo, I'm happy because I wanted to play Gear Gears for the longest time. 
And um, now I can actually play with the uh, Gurgianos. See, I, cause I was actually playing playing without the Gurgianos. Like, when I would test it on, like, DN or Depro, I would play Gurgias without the Gurgianos. Because Gurgia Gear is, is at one. I mean, sure, it was still a good card, but now I can play Gurgia Gear at three. And, yeah, now Gurgias can actually do a thing because you, you play Gurgias, combine them with the Performages, and do a lot of interesting plays in that deck. So yeah, this has been the November ban list because it doesn't kind of become in, in the list that doesn't become effective until the, the 9th of November, after the release, the week after the release of um, Dimensions of Chaos. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this list. And I thought it was a pretty interesting list. The Cardhawk really threw me off of why it was hit. Same thing with the Mathematician, but it was all Konami what they what, what they thought about what what cards needed to be hit. Also, I'm sad that Excited Tonight got banned, as I've been said already. Because rip me having to deal with pendulums now. Like, how do I deal with pendulums? Anyways, like I said, let me know what you think about this list. Do you think this list is gonna, it was a good list? And what do you think is gonna, gonna, gonna happen now? So yeah, this has been your comment to your moods. And I hope you all enjoyed this, this band list reaction video. Uh, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe and leave me some feedback as once again, it is appreciated. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace and.